Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from St. John's, and I have the privilege today to interview Max Chen from Toronto. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. So Max is another career coach. He helps professionals with their job search in order to land more interviews, generate more job offers, and make more money. And in that way, you will stop searching for your job and you will be working on your dream job. So Max, my first question for you is in terms of LinkedIn, we know that recruiters, hiring managers, they directly go to a LinkedIn to kind of have a feeling who's this person, their thoughts, maybe see their pictures. So in that sense, what tips you have for job seekers or international students or immigrants that they are not using LinkedIn to the fullest? Yeah, so one of the common mistakes I've seen professionals make on their LinkedIn profile is not filling it out properly. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've seen profiles that are bare bones, which is company job tail duration. They don't have anything else. Yeah. Uh, recruiters, yes, they do search by job title. They might search by company name. Mm -hmm. uh, they also search for location as well. Yeah. So, But even if you are searchable, they also want to know what you've actually done. So mm -hmm. it's very important to highlight a few things that you've done in each role. In some ways, if you're crunched for time, it's better to just take a few bullet points from your resume and stick it into the yeah. appropriate sections in yeah. your roles on your LinkedIn profile. Uh, if you don't have a lot of time, that's better than having no content at all in terms of what you've done in those roles. Yeah. So that would be my first suggestion. The second suggestion is when it comes to location, it's better to target a whole area. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is, let's say you're from Mississauga, uh, which is a suburb of Toronto, yeah. uh, greater Toronto area. If you might not be visible uh, as much compared to if you say you're from the greater Toronto area, so that would covers a wider region and you're more likely to be uh, searchable mm -hmm. uh, if they, if the recruiter types in Toronto, right. Yeah. Or even if they type in Mississauga, but the fact that you're in the greater Toronto area, you will get found. Yeah. Uh, so definitely take a larger location instead of a very specific city. Yeah. Uh, so those would be the two things that I can think of um, when it comes to searchability, which is your work experience and then uh, your location. What about pictures? And I know that on your LinkedIn, you kind of have a video of 30 minutes about kind of selling yourself, selling your services. Do you recommend job seekers to do that? Uh, yeah. So as you're aware, LinkedIn released the cover video, I think last year, uh, a, a fair amount of people uh, did it more so uh, business owners uh, mm -hmm. than uh, job seekers. It doesn't hurt to uh, do it. It's one of those things like if you're very nervous on camera, I wouldn't suggest you do it because then it might actually hurt your profile. Yeah. But if you're confident with the camera, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's an mm -hmm. additional uh, add-on to your profile. Uh, so in my opinion, if you are really terrified about the camera, a proper profile picture is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are comfortable speaking on camera, then it doesn't hurt to add it. Uh, again, it doesn't make a difference as in if you're not qualified for the job, according to what the recruiter sees, a, a video or no video is not going to help you. It's just an additional bonus to the work experience, which is the main part of your profile. Yeah. Those are great tips, Max. Thank you very much. So for the audience listening or watching for the first time, I'm going to ask Max a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. Kind of a journey with us. You can like all the videos, share, make comments. So tune in next time for another great question with Max.